What's going on YouTube? Today I have a two-in-one custom mini scheme involving shotgun doubles on and shotgun normal. And before I get started, you know, a lot of e-guides, a lot of players are using these formations. I did not invent any of the plays here. In fact, a couple of them I've learned from a variety of sources, you know, Kilo, the Madden Fever, and also uh, Zip Mr. Zeddy. So uh, I'm not coming with anything groundbreaking here. And uh, the way that I'm doing this scheme is, is I would say, is is original in, in my thoughts. So just watch here. What you're gonna do here is start with Pete Carroll's playbook because it has a lot of the doubles on plays that you're gonna need already. So you're gonna start with that. You're gonna get rid of a couple formations. In fact, I got rid of I formation altogether. I don't go under center at all in this game. And you're gonna go in and you're gonna add in all of the shotgun, well, all of the following shotgun normal plays. Now, most of these normal plays come from Mike Shanahan's playbook. So you're gonna add pretty much every run that's available to you. So the halfback mid draw, halfback off tackle. Let's keep uh, scrolling down here. And the, the great thing about Madden 25 is the read option for sure you're gonna add. Speed option if you want, not a great, play not something you always want to run QB wrap for sure is a great play halfback angle just in case you need it but really with the normal play set we're going to be running run plays out of this and on shotgun we're shotgun doubles on we're going to be doing our pass plays QB power yes you can add etc now I, uh, to finish the thought the great thing about Madden 25 this year is that with the custom playbooks I mean you can just add halfback counter very important play for this scheme you can just add plays and um, if you know what you're doing customization wise you can create a pretty devastating offense and, and yeah offense is is big in this version of the game especially running the ball and that's what this scheme uh, working together is going to give you and these last two are very important inside zone read option and inside zone so I love those plays um, I just added midline read options just to give you more options based on what's going to happen. But once you start running the scheme, your opponent's going to figure out this dude is running the ball, this dude is passing the ball. You're going to really keep them guessing. Now, the second thing that's really important is the audible setups between normal, shotgun normal, and shotgun doubles. So in normal, what we're going to do is we're going to set up all run plays in normal. And you'll see why we're going to do this. You're like, oh, well, what if I want to pass the ball out of normal? Well, you don't have to worry about that because it's gonna, all going to come together. So I put inside zone as my primary. And then I'm going to do QB wrap as my secondary. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add the, uh, let's see, which one are we going to add? We're going to add the halfback counter. And then the last one is going to be the inside zone read option, which plays nicely off of our first inside zone. So. This offense to me is sort of like a jab, jab, knockout, punch type offense. We're going to use the running plays to set up bigger plays later. So here you go, inside zone, QB wrap, halfback counter, inside zone, read option. And you saw in there when we added other plays uh, out of the normal that you can have options. You know, there's a draw that's up the middle, there's other plays. Now, doubles on. Doubles on looks exactly like normal, you see in formation. So we're going to add an FL screen. We're going to put all our pass plays and doubles on here. And you can choose whatever you want, but the two that I really care about is FL screen and any passing play that has a halfback angle route on it here, which is right here. So that's those are my two primary passes. And then you can go with whatever you want for these. You know, if you want a deep ball, really the scheme is designed around uh, I like adding the slip screen and then this scheme is designed about just eating your opponent to death, just picking at him. I like the strong flood. I like all flood concepts really in this game just because of how the def defense um, bites on a lot of routes, uh, either man or zone. So we'll go through each one of these. So the, the fourth play that I added was uh, definitely the strong flood. So first, uh, let's get this set here. And then we're going to talk about there you go, those are your four audibles. Really the first two are the ones that I care about. So we're gonna do the runs here. I'm gonna go over, we're gonna go into practice mode. I'm gonna start with the inside zone. It's a very effective run on its own, but I like to use it as a bait play. You know, the poison for a lot of these plays is the sugar look right there. 
And um, what you're going to look for to run this is a light box, and if there's linebackers, etc., to the right side. And anytime you get that, man, you can just run it right up the gut, and it's quite effective. So this next play is the QB wrap, and this play is probably one of the most devastating runs in the game. Uh, we're using the inside zone, which preceded this, to set it up because now you want your opponent to think that you're going to the left side, and look at that. On the right side, it's going to open right up. This play's been banned in tournaments, etc., because of how glitchy it is. Uh, if there's no edge help on the right side, almost all the time, the defense is going to bite on it. And they're going to figure it out after a while. You're going to want to slide down with your quarterback or else you're going to see lots of injuries from your QB, especially if it's not a Russell Wilson or a Colin Kaepernick. And yeah, the defenders are retarded with the W because they always bite hard on that QB rap. And, and it's, it's a play that's been around. I didn't invent it. You know, I, I learned it from watching, Z well, Zeddy's first told me about it. And I know commentators like Jay himself uses it, but there's no one that can really take credit for a play that has no adjustment. So the next play is a halfback counter. What I like to do is motion the wide receiver to the left over to the right to get another blocker to that side. You really don't have to as well. Look at that, whenever that tackle springs free, there and blocks the uh, defensive end. It's really hard to defend. You know, the defenders bite on these counter plays in this game. And when you have a good speedy back like a Chris Johnson or a Frank Gore, a CJ Spiller, etc., anybody with decent speed and elusiveness, look at this. CJ2K is going to get open outside to the right there. So, very devastating play. And now the last play in this shotgun normal set for the run plays is the inside zone read option to give myself an option here without having to call any audibles and look how the defender again bites on uh the running back there and you know i slide down with jake locker there look he, he bites hard again so you know you know the decision that you have to make when you hike the ball hold a if you want to give it to the y to the running back just continue to hold it if you want to keep it let go very simple. Make the right decision. Get up the field here and look. Uh, that uh, defensive end bit on the quarterback. And uh, Chris Johnson got me a nice little chunk of 20 yards. So here are the passes from doubles on. Okay. So we did our runs from normal. We're going to do passing plays from doubles on. And the play that I love the most out of doubles is this angle route here with Chris Johnson. And look at the defense now. You got a sugar look, which shuts down a lot of the outside runs that we have in normal. But against sugar, that angle route is going to come open, get you a nice little chunk of six, seven yards. Whether they blitz or whether they back up, uh, it's and whether it's man or zone, it's going to be tough for them to defend against Chris Johnson there. And there's alternate routes that you can go to. You can go to the curl if you think that they're being they're bringing pressure. So this is the first pass that you really want to go to because a lot of times they'll empty out the box thinking that you're going to one side or the other. Look, you can, there are many options there. You can streak uh, the slot receiver, etc. But for the most part, once you've set them up with the runs, they're going to they're gonna be thinking run, especially if you do it a lot and spam them with the run. But the angle route is a nice little poison for them and keeping them the defense honest when you really do want to run the ball. Now, the FL screen, this is always a popular play. This gets you even more outside than the runs do. A lot of times they'll bite hard, try to tackle you in the backfield during the exchange or during that uh, fake to the halfback. This combats that as well. Now you add the FL screen where you streak the wide receiver, swing route, the um, halfback. This is a very popular look at all of them. They are, this is really good against a run commit as well. You see how they all bit down uh, thinking that I was going to run the ball in the middle and the, the uh, FL screen really countered that. And then the slip screen also does that. I just like adding in slip screens as well because again, if they're run committing, this is a very low risk play to get you 10, 15 yards where um, all you gotta do is get rid of the ball, no real adjustments. Screens are always devastating, especially if they're gonna go in some type of you know, outside zone where they're playing to the sidelines, etc. cetera. Uh, and you know, they're really overconscious about the run. Uh, this is a nice play 
for that. And then, uh, and I'll run it one more time here. Um, look at them, they're all biting down. Oh, and then you can also, there's alternative routes in the screen as well, you know, out routes, etc. if you're concerned about not being able to get rid of the ball. So here the strong flood is the last player I really run. I like it because it has some deep routes. It can beat them deep. Um, you know, maybe they're gonna wait and pay, be patient or user one side of the field where they think you're gonna run and then boom. This is a nice little man and zone beater because you got a lot of routes that you're either crossing or cutting off. And a lot of times they don't expect an out route to come from the tight end there. So here you go, look. Uh, and then that uh, halfback route as well, a devastate zone. You can throw it right over the guy's shoulder. I love that route because look, he's wide open over there and again, uh, it's just another low-risk weapon that you can use to advance the ball up the field. So now I'm going to put it all together in a gameplay. Now, granted, this is against the computer, so don't call me a cheesy, but it is on all Madden. And we're going to just basically look at what we see on the line. And the great thing about this 2-in-1 scheme is I can go between normal and doubles, and nothing changes on the line just a little bit. The only thing that you change is the, the one wide receiver backs up, one wide receiver moves slightly and nobody really notices that change. They're basically identical formations. And there I went with uh, the FL screen to start, but when I come back to the huddle, especially if I know huddle, it's going to automatically flip to normal. So see what I see here on the line is, look, when I audible to the inside zone, on the left side, there's not really much edge help there, and I can squirt through the line and pick up a first down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hurry it up again. And I'm looking for things on the line. And my first look is, okay, how many down linemen do I have? Where are the linebackers? Here, look at that right side there. There's no edge help really, but now that I audibled into it, now there is edge help, so what do I do? I'm probably gonna just go back to the inside zone here because they are concerned that I'm going to flip it and go to the right side. Well, look, I'm already one step ahead of you. There was a light box. Got through. That's another 10 yards. Going to come right back up to the uh, line of scrimmage. And now let's see what we have on the line here. Look, not much edge help there. Look, now they think that I'm going left, and that is perfect because they are going to bite hard on the fake to Chris Johnson. And look at all that real estate in front of me. Look, that's Ryan Fitzpatrick out there busting off a 25-yard run. And I should have slid down there. Anytime that you feel the defense coming, you really should slide down because you don't want to lose your starting quarterback within the opening minutes of a game. But here, look, I can jump back into doubles. I've got the angle route set up. He's in a sugar look, the defense is, and that is exactly what I want. Now he's thinking, oh, he's, this guy's going to run in, run, going to run outside. So I hit him with the angle route. I keep him honest. I pick up seven yards. That's something that they're going to have to be concerned about. And look, let's see what we have now. Look, light edge help over there where J.J. Watt is. Even with the up, oh, now he's going to get some edge help here. So we can go back to inside zone and keep setting them up. This is a sort of a jab, jab, jab offense. And look, uh, I picked up a nice 10, 11, 12 yards. And I've got whoever the opponent is. I don't care if it's the computer or what you see online. And you can see this in a lot of my games. You've got the opponent just guessing. They're confused. They don't know which side you're going to run it to. And even if they do, who cares? You can make these play adjustments based on the alignment you see. And here's the uh, halfback slip screen. Again, to keep them honest, you've got to pass the ball a little bit. You can't just spam the run every time. You know, second and four here. Let's see what we see. No edge help over there on the right side. What's coming? I think I'm going to go with the QB wrap because I know that they're going to bite on it hard. And look at all the defense. Look at the safety go all the way to the wrong side of the field. And Ryan Fitzpatrick puts it in the end zone. So this is my two-in-one doubles normal mini scheme. Something that you can do. You don't even need to audible out of or uh, go back to the play calling screen. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I hope you like this uh, mini scheme. Five points. I'm out.